I've decided to start a new quilt, mainly because, well, it's been in the back of my mind. It's not that there aren't other things I should be doing, like finishing up my Bali vids, but I had this big party here yesterday, and while they were, uh, at the end of the party, they offered to move my furniture back uh, to its original position. And then I just suddenly thought, well, as long as they're here, I might as well move the harpsichord so that I can use that wall for designing and um, start a quilt. It's those spur-of-the-moment decisions that bring on the mammoth projects. Now my harpsichord's over there, leaving this wall free for design. I'll cover it with white flannel. So I'm trying to decide what to do. I'm hauling out all kinds of things. I have this old Japanese piece, um, which I might use intact. In which case, I could use some of my Japanese fabrics also, cut them up. This is a kimono. This is a pair of pants that I made years ago, but they don't fit me anymore. This is a kimono I made. Of course, kimono will always fit, but it's been sitting in a drawer for ages. So, um, I should do something with it. Cut it up. It's not, not sacred just because I made the whole thing by hand. This is another kimono. And uh, so they're all, the, you know, using those Japanese indigo blues. And so I'm just starting to haul out fabrics. I've got another, another alternative or a different quilt. But what I want to also do is see if I can finally master the crooked seam technique <laughs> of the G's Bend ladies. I'm going to see if I can make it without buying any new fabrics, thus killing two birds with one stone. No money and getting rid of some fabric that I just keep saving. Drawers full. Be nice to start paring that down. I also have this um, little piece of fabric I got in Japan of the stone garden. And if I don't think I should use them both because they they can each one uh, take a different direction. So if I use uh, the stone one, oh, that means all of this blue and white stuff will really uh, work very nicely. So I guess I'm going to do that. And the, the first thing that I'm going to have to start doing is uh, ripping apart the kimono. This, you know, kimono uh, widths are narrow. They're only, what, 12, 15 inches wide. So this might make a nice border 